Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition tutorial, this time on attack and armor types. So as you probably have noticed already, uh, those features don't quite work as you would expect them to work. But uh, as I've stumbled upon a Chinese website which actually broke down how you uh, need to use that effect, I found out yeah, how to do it as well now. Just a short disclaimer at this point. Um, at the moment it doesn't quite work as it, it was intended to. You can have a little workaround so that you can make it work, but this workaround will stop to function as soon as the feature in Age of Empires 2 DE gets fixed. So this is only for just trying out things for um, yeah, exploring the options and I would not advise you to start a big scenario using those kind of triggers because they will uh, the functionality of them will be changed, will be fixed in a future update. But for now, just uh, trying out the possibilities and exploring a little bit, it works just good enough. So what do we have here? Here's an archer unit and I have given this unit uh, three, so total uh, max total missiles and total missiles are both three, so it will sh shoot three out of three arrows every time it shoots. And then there is a change object attack and modify attribute attack. And they currently work a little bit differently, but that will be changed in the future as well. So here you can in um, change object attack, it is the, basically the same for change uh, object armor. So I'm just showing the one because the other one would be just exactly the same, just selecting armor and self attack. So the quantity should be five because I want to have my archer f uh, to have five attack. But here armor attack type, you just type in zero, which will not use any armor classes for this and just use the default uh, damage type of the archer, which is pierce uh, damage, of course. I have tried to use like the proper uh, armor classes, but everything except zero at the moment, I think does not work in this case. And then the second option you could do, which is a little bit complicated, requires a little bit of math, but uh, actually works better, is modify attribute. I select it here, player one, change attribute attack of the archer, and then well, you only have a quantity and not an armor class. So this clearly is where the mistake has swooped in here because you should be able to select both. In this case, you actually can select both, but you only have this one text file to enter it. So how do you do that? Um, and I mean, this is an absurd amount of, uh, of attack damage, if you think about it, but it really breaks down uh, to the following formula. First of all, you need to w uh, know the damage class or armor class you want to target. In this case, it's stone armor, which is the number 13. Then you need to uh, take that number 13 times 256. And then in the end, add the uh, required amount of damage points. So the amount of damage you would like to add there or the amount of armor you would like to add. In my case, it's 50. In this case, this brought us to 3378 to have more archers uh, have 50 bonus attack against stone defense buildings. This system comes with the limitation that you can not use values which are more than 254 for bonus attack because if you just would use 256 or more attack damage this number would get interpreted in a way that you would have uh, just skipped one armor class forward instead of giving a unit 256 or more extra damage. So this is also a limitation which of course will not be there anymore if this gets properly split up between quantity and armor class so in two text fields. I'm just going to um, demonstrate this real quick because there is something interesting I discover there as well. So. Um, how the attack bonuses get applied in the end. So here the archer shooting three projectiles and oh, right, there we go. So each of those deals two damage. Uh, if you make a math here, nine damage against I would say seven building armor, that would make sense. Two damage per arrow. And now if I shoot at those there we go, at the stone walls see three arrows dealt 50 damage each bringing this stone wall down to 750 hp 
Of course, also works against towers. Though the, the armor between walls and towers is differently, which is why the tower has an uneven uh, amount of damage dealt to it. But um, previously I was not aware of the fact that uh, if you shoot multiple arrows that the attack bonus gets applied to it each time. Uh, because uh, if, you, if you look at Shokunu for example, they shoot multiple arrows but not each of those arrows actually deals full damage. In this case, at least the bonus damage gets like completely applied. Which is definitely interesting and uh, also gives you a new, a few new things to play around with and um, yeah, that should be fun. But for now this is all I wanted to show you here. Hopefully we'll, this will be fixed soon, so we can actually use the feature to its fullest extent without the limitations and without the need to have a calculator on the site every time you want to change armor or attack values, but um, yeah. That is something we can look forward to then. Until next time, have a great day. See you soon. Goodbye.